I have lots of good memories of Grandpa and Grandma and of the whole gang here. And since we live so far away, it was always a really big deal to come up and see Grandpa and Grandma. And Uncle Phil and Uncle Paul and Uncle Dave and Aunt Sharon and Jenny and the whole gang and so on. It was always a real big deal. And to me, it's still a big deal. And that says a lot, because I still like coming. I still like to be with everybody. Uh, a, lot, a lot of memories. One thing I always remember as a kid, and even two summers ago when we were here, I was still looking forward to it, and that was sitting around the kitchen table and talking and having all the pasta you could drink and pancakes and bacon, and then in the evening, for sure, a root beer float. But I'm really thankful for the family. It's, it's really uh, very special. And I still look forward to coming. It's, to me, it's still a real big deal. Uh, well, I, I'm just really pleased that I got to come. It was uh, something I just knew I had to do. It didn't matter what it took or cost or anything. I really wanted to be here. And I don't get hardly any opportunity to see anybody anymore out here. When I get a chance to get a vacation, I usually go to Texas to see my parents, of course, now. But it's just really, really an honor to have the heritage that we believe that we have with Grandpa and Grandma. And, and especially, you know, we love the Norwegian heritage and the food and things like that. But to me, the blood heritage that's really special is the blood of Jesus. And to me, it's the most powerful heritage that we can have to know that, that Grandpa really loved the Lord and he was full of the Holy Ghost. And then Mom loved the Lord and, and she breathed that into us as we grew up. And then we really value the Bible. And I just can't imagine a Sunday without hearing a message like we did today and singing a worship song. And of course, uh, all the uncles and aunts and the cousins, it's just a real pleasure to be with you guys. And it's, it's just a lot of fun. I think it's going to be a little bit of what heaven's going to be like, just to not see people for a long time and then come back together and just have a lot of time to sit around and talk and catch up. It's been a lot of fun. Well, I have lots of memories. I remember Daddy talking from the time I was a little girl that you're a Norwegian. <laughs> and so I knew I was a Norwegian. I didn't have any problem with identification, what I was, who I was. I was a Norwegian. And then all the times you told me you're a Viking. You, you're tough. You can do it. And one of the memories I have is all here at Lake Bronson, I went to camp over there, the Baptist camp, which was not quite as nice as this one. First year, I think we had straw picks, and no running water. You put something in the water to make it hot, and you better not stick your finger in at the same time because you got a little bit of electricity that ran up and down your arm. But I remember I went there from when I was eight to when I was 18. And I remember, but the one thing I remember is the time Daddy decided I needed to learn to swim. It was very neat. Mother would stand on shore, I'm sure the Daddy was going to drown the kids. And uh, I know she was praying the whole time, but Daddy said, it's your turn to learn. And I learned right off here at the dock. His idea was to get you off of the dock some way, and I don't remember how I got out there. Maybe he pulled me on a rope? I don't know. But I was standing on the dock, and he said, today you're going to learn to swim. He tied a rope around my waist and under my arm, and he held it in the back with the, put a little knot there. And he said, now, you're going to jump. I'll count to three, and you'll jump. And that water was deep and it was cold and it looked dark to me. I was far from the shore and I was scared. But Daddy said, I'll have the other end of the rope. I won't let you fall. And I looked up at him and he was a big guy. He was strong. I knew he wouldn't drop the rope. When he counted to three, I jumped. Then he stood at the back and said, come on, sir, you can do it. Swim, move, move. And boy, when you get in the water, you do something. You just don't hang there. And I moved. I got back to the dock and said, good, I'll do it again. <laughs> and, and I jumped the second time. He said, good, you got back, sir, and now we'll take the rope off. Oh, boy. <laughs> now we'll take the rope off. I was pretty secure. But he said, don't forget, I won't let you drown. I'm right here. If you have trouble, I'll be there. And I believed enough in my dad to know he wouldn't let me drown. I had faith in him. And so I stood at the dock, boy, I looked at that water, and there was no rope. And I thought, oh boy. And he said, Clara, look, listen, one, two, three, and I jumped. And he was standing there saying, you can do it, come on, you're almost to the dock, keep going, keep going. And I kept going. He didn't let me do 
During my life, there have been times when I've had jumps. I have seen to happen where I needed to jump by faith. I knew that my heavenly father wouldn't let me drop. He's weak. He's strong. Sometimes he has a rope, and sometimes he says, no rope, you can do it, but I'm right here, and I won't let you drown. And when he says jump, I jump, but I've never drowned. Congratulations to mom and dad. 